actually am super glad that you're here and you are my evaluator. I find that the best way to inspire somebody is to tell them a story. And my story actually starts with you, Jerry. I don't know if you know this, but it does. Ladies and gentlemen, Toastmasters, Madam Area Director, I have been very selfish this last year, and the root cause was Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> a little over a year ago, I was finally brought into the U.S. Foods family as an official employee of U.S. Foods, and I started receiving these emails for lunch and learns. Lunch and learns on how to bring positivity into the workforce, how to improve my own self-help, and how to become a more competent speaker when communicating, all of which were presented by Miss Cherry Courtney. I had appeared at one of them and they said, she said, this is Toastmasters. If you're interested, contact Karina Galindo. So I did. And actually a year ago this month was when I officially joined Toastmasters with you guys. But where, where, what else could I have improved on? How could I have been a better me? I looked back at your presentation, Sherry, and I took what Toastmasters had presented in front of me, and I started setting goals, both in my personal life and in my work life, to make myself not only a better employee, but a better person. So set goals, take notes, and then I proceeded to follow through. Following through can have a little bit of a challenge. We get scared. We step outside of our comfort zone. And what if people don't like us? What if we have a bad day and that positive week that we were having just kind of fell towards the wayside? What if one day we wake up and after some very good progress in our workout schedule, we decided, no, I'm sleeping in an extra hour. I'm waking up. I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> large coffee, half dozen, all me. And don't get me wrong. I've had those moments throughout the course of this last year. I've had those bad days. I've woken up some days and I'm just, I don't want to do it. I don't want to be here. But you power through it. You go on. I set myself a goal at the beginning of the year that I wanted to complete two things. One, I wanted to be able to complete a half marathon by the end of the year. Two, I was determined that in the year 2016, I was finishing with my CC and my CL. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here. But this is how I did it. One of the things that I started doing was I started signing up for things. And this all started with that superhero run back in spring. And then there was a hope run that was a 10K, and I completed that. Over the summer, there was a sunrise series, seven 5Ks over the course of the summer. I completed that. <laughs> Count them, seven, 6 a.m. Some of these are in freaking Fountain Hills. <laughs> <laughs> After the summer came and gone, I tried out another 10K. <coughs> I completed that. I shaved 15 minutes off of my time over the course of the summer. No train, just me. They in me. <laughs> <laughs> and then my most recent conquest is another is another running series, which is a course of five Ks. And I'm working my way through that. I have a half marathon this weekend, and I also think I might be part drag. Well, so. <laughs> <Love the> <laughs> But I pressured through it. And there are sometimes I actually twisted my knee on one of these. And trust me, when you're running and you're my size, I know I don't look very big, but trust me, I felt like I was having an anxiety attack. No, I was having a heart attack. I was gonna die. But I pressured through and it got it got done. It was lovely. Same thing went for my speeches. I believe almost at least a good two of you, I know for sure, maybe three, have been at almost every single one of my speeches throughout the course of the year. I, did, I once did a speech, or two speeches in one month, and trust me, there are some speeches you'll walk off this stage and you'll feel great, and you will be a communication god. <laughs> and 
then there are other times that the second you step for you step down, you're critiquing yourself. Oh my gosh, why did I go off on that tangent? Oh my gosh, I said um and ah uh, so many times. And then we just happen to upload it onto YouTube and then you watch it and you're just like, oh, I'm just going to delete myself from the internet now. <laughs> but what do we take from that? When you watch yourself perform, when you see the time as you cross the finish line, you see improvement in yourself. You see areas to improve upon. So the next time you come up on the stage, the next time you run the race, you know what to do. Whether it's the first time or the 10 billionth time. I want to share with you two pieces of advice. The first one I actually heard while I was at a speaking contest and the gentleman, the, the question, the interview for the attendees were, if you had one bit of advice to give to a new Toastmaster or a current Toastmaster, what would it be? And it struck home with me because it was the one thing that I was trying to do all year. And it's don't say no because you're afraid. Don't say no because you think you're gonna fail. Because you never know what opportunities that will unlock. The other piece of advice, and what I was actually really hoping to have the PowerPoint for, is never give up because you failed the first time, the second time, or the third time. I actually have this really nice picture of some gentlemen doing a jumping into the pool scene in real life that was a reenactment from a cartoon. And it said, two billion tries later, nailed it. <laughs> so don't stop until you nail it. So ladies and gentlemen, I have been very selfish this last year in my own personal growth, in my physical growth, and within my growth for Toastmasters. And I imbue you to do the same this next year. Be just a little selfish. Take that little time for yourself to work on something that you want to accomplish. It doesn't matter how big it is, it doesn't matter how small it is. It doesn't have to be a half marathon. It can be just, I want to cook dinner every night at home for the week. So please, don't give up. I hope that with my words, that this has inspired you to pick up your confident communicator and you're just gonna fill up the rest of the year with speeches. I look forward to hearing from every one of you because I learned from you.